Welcome one and all, this is the Peace Dealer, and in this video we're going to talk about Lilith and Pisces. When Lilith is in Pisces, we have a woman who is frequently stuck in her own delusion. Pisces in astrology represents everything that's not real because the opposite side of that is Virgo, which represents everything that is real. That's why they're so anal and critical because if you can't see it, you can't touch it, it, it really lacks to hold any substance. So that's what Pisces is for. It's the imagination that makes things real through one's ability to escape into different realms. And when Lilith is here, you have someone who can do that very well. In fact, when they do so, they do so very erotically and sexually. One really cool thing about Lilith and Pisces though, this is one of the sexiest Lilith positions, not because of anything cliche or conventional like sexual attitude or looks but because of this ability they have to merge and blend into what you desire the element of fantasy that pisces holds makes Lilith and pisces people project a shade of what you want all right, but it's not towards you. If anything, it's you projecting it on that Lilith and Pisces person. So the Lilith and Pisces energy subconsciously knows what you fantasize sexually, and it'll slowly but surely have you project that on a Lilith and Pisces. After spending time with one of those people, you'll start to feel like you could literally experience your sexual fantasies with that person and with Pisces you always have to like read between the lines it's not like it's gonna be in your face overt but it's just certain subtle it's hard for me to put in words this is Pisces energy but it's just certain subtle like dynamics that will go through when they the way the person moves it really doesn't have to be anything that makes sense sense like the person could be sucking on a lollipop or picking up some trash and putting it in the trash can but somehow that's just going to telegraph um a sexual fantasy it's not like that act in itself is going to be the sexual fantasy but it's going to trigger in that other person's mind hey this person i can live out my sexual fantasies with that should not make any sense because there's nothing about it that makes sense but that's kind of like the energy that is involved. Another cool thing about Lilith and Pisces people is that when they do have sex in their dreams, it holds a very great significance. And the person who they're having sex with in their dreams, they're healing. So that person in real time is gonna wake up. If, if that person was asleep when it happened, they're gonna wake up feeling refreshed and like, whoa, I, I feel healed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty gnarly. That's the only Lilith position, by the way. Lilith and Pisces is a supreme position. This one and Lilith and Aquarius, they are way more supreme than any of the other Liliths combined. So Lilith and Pisces people have powerful psychic ability, but they may go through a whole lifetime never awakening it because this is Pisces energy. It's the highest not it's it's incredibly difficult to harness if you do not allow yourself to escape into imagination and if you do not allow yourself to really experience things without giving a context without it needing to make sense people with Lilith and Pisces need to learn how to go with the flow more than anyone else because Lilith in all her adamant is just going to make you escape for no reason and some of these people may have to deal with substance abuse in the worst way they could be genuine people who don't even want to abuse substances but they're always going to be around it because that feeds lilith the need to escape she gets super bored in this mundane reality because lilith knows what the fuck's up all right she knows there's angels she knows there's goddesses she is one she knows this pisces realm it to us humans is just imagination but it's a 
I was gonna say real, Virgo's real, but it's it's true, it's something that is, you know what I mean? So people with Lilith and Pisces could have the opportunity to explore different dimensions while still in their body, not in the imagination, literally just like walk through the veil. They have the ability for advanced clairvoyance, claircognizance, um, it's through their dreams they'll be revealed a lot of things, but this is a very dark, dark occult position. So Lilith and Pisces people attract the darkest wizards, the darkest witches, like people who have powerful black magic, but use it for dark negative purposes. They attract this so much. In fact, what sucks is Lilith and Pisces will more often than not piss these people off, not without even doing anything. They just get them, they, people who have this dark power are jealous of the Lilith and Pisces because of how effortless they could really like access some of this energy. And so they even get more mad when they realize this person doesn't even know how to do it better than me. So if there's really no rational reason why they should get jealous. They really just need to stop hating on your swag and being so damn salty. But it's something that people with Lilith and Pisces have to be careful of. And what pisses them off more is their black magic does not always work on you. It will to a degree, but the Lilith and Pisces is so powerful, it can almost absorb all that black magic, which is another thing about Lilith and Pisces, it can absorb negative intentions in black magic and won't even affect you. You absorb negative intentions and then you could bring it back to someone twofold. So this is a very powerful, um, or let me say magical, Lilith position. Lilith and Pisces could, uh, <laughs> Lilith and Pisces is also notorious for making someone who's ugly putting makeup on them and making them look beautiful that's the illusion element of the 12th house in pisces so that's a little bit about Lilith and pisces they want to make your sexual fantasies come true or they don't and they get harassed by people who expect them to so be aware of that Lilith and pisces is a very easy position to attract sexual assault and rape too so you definitely want to draw the proper sexual boundaries Otherwise, Lilith will just go ham and, and make sure there's no boundaries. I hope you enjoyed this video.